So far this year, there have been 35 stop arm violation citations issued in Horry County, which costs well over $1,000 apiece. The Highway Patrol is aiming to get that number down to zero through education and enforcement with the help of added technology on school buses. The wheels on the bus have gone round and round thousands of times this school year with luckily no deadly crashes involving vehicles going around school bus stop arms. Anticipate that it's going to have to stop to load or unload. Be prepared. Don't pass the bus. So if I was crossing the street from there, she would give me the hand signal when it's safe. She would motion me across. Sergeant Matt Southern, South Carolina Highway Patrol, is the only officer assigned at the state level to track everything connected to school bus transportation. I help to oversee uh, every stop arm violation that comes in from the state. I help to uh, oversee all collisions involving school buses. Southern says for decades his department has been committed to school bus safety. Riding on a school bus to school you're 70 times more likely to get to school safer riding on a school bus. Which is why the state has partnered with Horry County Schools for a pilot surveillance program. It involves installing more cameras on the left side of the bus, which is where drivers are more likely to drive past a stop arm. We wish we didn't have to install these cameras on the, on the buses. We wish that every motorist that saw a school bus did what they were supposed to do and, and stopped according to the law. The cameras capture the license plate, make and model of the vehicle, and sometimes a good look at the person behind the wheel. On the bus driver's end, there's a log sheet that they fill out when a violation occurs, which ends up on Southern's desk. Per state law, we can go and write a citation to someone if they're captured on video passing a stop school bus. Uh, these cameras that are on the bus do allow us to see a license plate. It does allow us to see sometimes who's driving the vehicle, and it gives us you know, evidence that we can use in a court of law. You don't want to be captured on this video. Here's how the law works. If you're on a two lane road and you're behind a bus or approaching one, you must stop when the yellow and red lights are flashing. That is the same if you're on a two lane road with a center lane or median. But if you're on a multi lane road or one with or without a center median, drivers going the same direction of the bus must stop. The other drivers on the other side can continue to drive safely because the students wouldn't cross over a busy highway after getting off a bus. Horry County Schools has a fleet of 426 buses and is the second largest district in the state, which is just one of the reasons why the district is partnering with the Highway Patrol for the safety campaign. Our overall number, and that's a breakdown of about 200, I'm sorry, three 53, I think, state buses, and then the rest of them are made up of our county and activity buses that we own. So, um, yeah, we have we have a very large fleet. Ben Prince is the executive director of transportation for Horry County Schools and says that student safety is the top priority of district staff, especially bus drivers. The district is fortunate that there hasn't been any deaths because of drivers not stopping for a school bus. We don't want any. Um, we want it to be a situation where people understand and know what the law is as far as interacting with a bus. This Sakisti mother tells me in Spanish that her elementary school age daughter rides the bus to and from school each day. She's noticed drivers obey the law and stop behind the bus, but for those who don't follow the law, Southern says there's a huge fine. And the fine is hefty. It's $1,062.50, six points against your driver's license. And it's that hefty because we're talking about keeping people safe. Which is halfway to a full suspension of your driver's license. So remember, it takes just seconds for students to get on and off a bus, less time than it takes at a red light. And while we were out there in the Sakisti area, we didn't see any drivers drive past a stop arm, but school bus drivers say that it happens every day. And it's not just Highway Patrol troopers who are enforcing the law. Police departments and sheriff's offices across our area are on top of it as well. Eric Richards, WMBF News.